Hey there everyone, it's JM Guru and welcome back to a brand new Game Maker Studio 2 tutorial and today it's going to be a development of the previous tutorial that I did which was object based particles but today we're going to look at more kind of ambient particles so instead of particles that are breaking off of um, an object and you destroy it it's kind of going to be more to add some game feel to your environment so if you have like a fire like we're going to be I'm going to be using an example today or if you have a lamp or if you have anything that's creating some kind of ambient particles this tutorial is going to help you achieve that now the only things that i have self imported is this 32 by 32 fire that i used in my game ake so this is just what i'm going to be using you guys can use your own sprites and then i also have an spr particle now it is two by two and the only reason it's two by two is i'm making it bigger so you guys can properly see it on the screen i might actually just you know what i'll just lower it to one by one because usually i'm going to be doing these kind of things in a one by one size but i was using it as two by two to try and show you so the first thing i did was create an object which is just obj underscore fire you don't need to put absolutely anything in your um, original object unless you have some kind of code in it that you want to run by yourself another thing that we have is just a basic room and i've actually set up down here you guys you can see that i've set up a little view in view zero so it's just a little little small one actually it should be 160 uh, by 90 and then I set the viewport to 1280 by 720. It's just so I can basically show you guys the fire zoomed in so it's going to be blowing up on the screen. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to create something that the actual particle properties. So we're not going to, we have a controller for it and the particle. So the first thing we're going to do is give it some properties. So we're just going to name this um, obj underscore particle. And we're gonna drag this over here and in the create event we've got a few things to set up like we did in the other one so we're just gonna randomize first and then we're gonna set the v speed to random underscore range and i'm gonna go for you can change it to your own numbers guys i'm gonna go for minus 0 0.4 to 0 and then i'm gonna do hs speed is equal to random underscore range we're gonna do minus 0 0.1 to 0 0.1 we don't want it moving too fast on the H axis because it is a fire. But again, if you guys want to change it and do your own stuff, we're going to do image underscore X scale to equal a random range of 0 0.4 to 1. So it's going to be changing the size. And then just to make sure everything is matching, we're going to have image underscore Y scale set to image underscore X scale. So it's keeping them the same size on both the X and the Y. Now for the lifespan of the particle, we're going to want it a random range of uh, 0 0.35, 0 0.7. And again, if you have it higher here, it's gonna last for longer. Um, and if you have it lower here, it's gonna go away faster. And usually I just times this by 60 because all my games are in 60 FPS. But if you guys just put room underscore speed, I'm gonna times that by six as well. Room underscore speed means that whatever room it's in, it's gonna times it by the room speed. But if you guys are making games, you should probably be making them in 60 FPS because not a lot of games these days aren't not in 60 fps or higher so then with the fade step as well so this is how much it's going to be fading i set that to zero just to create it and then the life span max is going to be equal to lifespan so just because we're going to be taking away from lifespan we just want to make sure that this is the highest one i'm actually just going to put that underneath there just to keep it nice and neat now this is another uh, optional thing so if you guys know how to transfer like hue codes and stuff to hsv or rgb and um, i'm basically just gonna copy this here actually i'm not gonna watch you make you guys watch me type it out. i have this here this is just basically some colors which are the colors matching some of the fire so basically the particles are the same color because that's why it's white you don't actually need to you can basically universally use this particle by keeping it white and then uh, for the image blend so that means that it's gonna blend over the white one we'll go with any of these so you can choose between orange red or yellow now that's everything for the create event and we're going to head over to the step event now and uh, it's not actually too much guys so we're going to have the fade uh sorry i'm meant to have this as fade the fade is equal to plus equaling one and then uh life span minus equals one and if lifespan is less than zero instance underscore destroy just destroy it save all that memory and stuff make sure there's not not too many instances on the screen or outside of the room 
I'm going to do the fade math, which is just going to work out um, when to get rid of it. So it's going to be the square root of fade divided by lifespan max. Oh, I've put something in. No, 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 we're okay. Oh, no, yeah, I have this here. That needs to be like that. Just, just always remember your capitals, guys. It's good to have these after. So lifespan max. And then we close that, and it's going to be divided by fade. So and with the image underscore alpha, it's going to be taking away from this times two. So that's we're just doing this. So basically, the alpha is slowly getting taken away by this every so often. Now with the image underscore angle, this is again optional, guys. You don't have to you don't have to choose this. We're going to plus equal a random underscore range. And we're going to, I'm going to do minus. You could do like minus two two. I think we'll go with minus two two for now. That'll do. Don't want to make it too complicated. So that's everything for this particle. We don't need anything else. Again, I've already said this, but everything you can change. And again, if you want to keep it neat, we can just add all these after uh, because it's good to have that habit in coding. I've done it nearly everywhere apart from those. And then we'll go and create the final object, which is going to be obj underscore particle underscore controller. I'm actually just going to rename this to underscore fire. Just if you have multiple particles, it's good to remember which one's which. Uh, and while we're in this one, we're going to go to the step event. The only thing that we need to do in this one is go to the step event and we'll do while the instance number. So the amount of instances of obj underscore particle underscore fire. So is less than 25 so while there is less than 25 of this particle we're going to create on the layer and i've created a layer here guys in the room that you can see called particles you can create on whatever layer you want but the fire is on instances and i've got the particles on that just so that they're drawing above but if you want it to draw behind make sure to put it on that layer behind it's gonna be obj underscore fire dot x and then plus a random range of minus 16 to 16 so it's going to be 16 to the right 16 to the left on the x and then we're going to add another comma and it's going to be obj underscore let me just move this over underscore fire underscore fire dot y plus random underscore range we'll do minus four four comma and we'll call this the particles layer and then we'll do obj underscore particle underscore fire there we go guys now if i can oh we've got oh no sorry and then <laughs> need to close it off of course don't forget to do that can i make this bigger there we go that'll do just a little bit bigger for you guys so yeah you change this number here so let's say we want 40. okay and we'll see how that works so i'm just gonna chuck it in a room already is in the room and we're just gonna make sure that the particle controller is in the room as well because if the particle controller is in the room it's not going to create any of the particles and then we'll launch the game and fingers crossed that I have got this all right and it's going to work straight off the bat and boom there we go guys and look at that there is some nice ambient particles and you can see they're traveling a bit fast and you know we've got a lot of them going on, on the screen but this is just something that I was using I've used in Aki um, just to basically, it's, a, it's more about game feel. It's not really about you necessarily need these kind of particles to make your game look better because I'm sure your game already looks good. But these kind of particles just add a lot more to it. And the reason, you know, before I was trying to resize this, I don't know. I'm just going to resize it just in case it's not showing up on the video very well. Uh, we'll go for, yeah, two by two. Oh no, or is that not? Uh, two by two. Yeah, hello. Okay, there we go. I'll just make them a little bit bigger because I don't know if it's going to be shown up in the video very well. There you go. See, they're a lot bigger now. The initial burst is a bit weird, but after the initial burst gets going, look at that. And I think that's really nice. And um, again, it's just a development on the object particles. It's not using the game makers, game makers particle system because I still think it's a bit complicated for most people. So that I've always been using object-based particles. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, make sure to go ahead and leave a like down below. And also go and join my Discord, follow me on Twitter, and make sure to subscribe, as it really does help me out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.